So you would Bluetooth onto this device here. Now, uh, because it's its own dedicated box, it has a longer throw than as if you were to log on to, say, uh, one of these lights and let the light then throw that transmission. Okay, got it. So uh, about 300 meters clear line of sight. Okay. And so, yeah, no, nothing really new as far as product-wise. We definitely have a bunch of new of the accessories, like the mag force over there. So this way we're able to take magnets and, uh, and lock onto it. And we're trying to give that a pull. There you go. And so we've got steel plates in just a couple of different areas. Okay. This one here is all right on the steel plate itself, so it kind of gives you a full feel of how it's Okay. Exactly. Got yeah. it. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Also, because it's the same thread style, we're able to develop it within other structures like our exoskeleton that we now have. I understand. And so, like I said, all of the existing hardware that you normally get in your kit cases, we can go ahead and lock in so that you can create shapes and develop uh, different types of flow structures for them, mm -hmm. as well as exoskeletons for the back, so that you're able to kind of lean out and give oh. it a better throw for okay. the cameras or whatever it might be. Of course, we thought to cut out so you have full access to the display still. And we now have developed a carbon fiber uh, egg crate so that you can have a nice hard edge. Okay. So strong as steel, light as plastic. Yeah. And then also if you wanted to be able to lock multiple units together, end to end to end, you have a hang point to be able to hold that. Now you can it. Okay. Yeah. That's the latest and the greatest so far. Yeah. Um, Thanks. How about those little... I mean, like, kind of like spotlight or like displaying light over there. These, these, uh, these ones here or these ones? Yeah. Here? Are they uh, the these same? These ones here are the AX5. As the AX3. So this one here is one of the original series, so it does not have the Titan engine built within. Okay. These all have the Titan engine, so we're able to do super high CRIs, 96 plus, all across the board. Okay. As well as we can dial in any pre-existing uh, gel. Uh, okay. For your Lee and your Roscoe, go directly into the main housing. Uh, so you don't even need the application to be able to launch that. Okay. And then that's the same thing with the little pin spot over there. So that is the replacement for this. So that does have the Titan engine. Okay. And it's the same 13 degree cell, 15 watts uh, power, but it's also modular. Excuse me. So because it's modular, I have the ability to lock them all together, or I can just go directly off the footprint. And then green means you're locked in, red means you're going to slip loose. Okay. And then from there you can build all kinds of different oh. shapes coming off with the hardware. So I can either have them space each other out or I can even utilize it so that they kind of fan this way. Okay. All right, and that's all from the, the quick lock structure, yeah. Just like that. I think I saw these like before. Very in, possible, yeah. In like music videos, that kind of stuff. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. How about this one? So that is the AX2. Uh, that's going to operate off of the same airline track structure that you saw here. Mm -hmm. Feeder modulars, so you can go all the way up and down the whole unit. It's got power in and out, as okay. well as, of course, the battery. Uh, near infrared, so that actually can share commands. So if I hit a button, I can say, hey, your address one, and it automatically knows how to offset off. Okay. Of course, you got a big, beefy locking bracket here. So if I needed to extend the, the unit just a little further, I could do just like that. And wow. as you see, it can support its own weight of each other. Uh, very rigid, very uh, uh, structurally sound. Okay. Another stupid question. I mean, like, no, there's no such thing. <laughs> I mean, like, if I'm going to use a stereo box, yeah. and it, can it control, I mean, like, other CRMX Absolutely. lights? Absolutely. It's a Lumens radio chip built directly in, so any product that has Lumens radio, you're good to go. So I can use your app to control No, the so other our stuff. app runs off of the 900 UHF. Oh, okay, got it. So, so you can use other app to control this Yeah, CRMX so if protocol. you had a different app, you could go in. So we have an Exilux product, which is made in France. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the Control One. Oh, I got it. Yeah. There you go. I, so I yeah, know. so you create a Wi-Fi node, and then from there, that's going to translate that over to uh, a five pin underneath. Yep, yep, yep. And then you're just locking in a transmitter that does the CRMX, and then all your blackouts and all the fun stuff will go directly to it, and then send out to the light. So yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. So, and these are now Wi-Fi capable. So instead of sending out a Bluetooth command, 
or the 900, you can send out uh, Wi-Fi on 2.4 so that you can extend your reach. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Do you mind if I scan your badge? So sure. We can keep in touch and no send you problem. promos and discounts and all sure, the good sure, stuff. Sure, sure, sure. Same as he was doing, like, just kind of in between. There we are. Gotcha. Thanks. Have a great day.